Good morning, everyone, and welcome to River City Plus. Now, we just stepped out of the studio. We are here today with our producer, Vaughn. Now, you don't get to see him as much because usually he's on the floor <laughs> running around behind a camera with a headset on. So I took my mic off, he took his headset off, and we ran in here. So, Vaughn, welcome to River City Plus. Thank you, Jana. Thank you. Now, I'm excited to chat with you because people are getting to see you more and more on camera. We got to see you in New Orleans, cheering on the Jags. So much fun. Tried to take a day off. He couldn't, literally couldn't help himself. Sent me a package at 2 a.m. to make sure you guys could see all the fun he was having without us. And then also we got to see you at Alpha Fitness. So how's it feeling settling into the River City Live vibe? It feels good. It really feels good. I'm starting to, well, I, I don't want to say I'm starting to. I'm, I'm enjoying every minute of this. It's like a rush for me. Uh, the only struggle I had was editing after the game at 2, 3 in the morning. That was impressive. I I was like, okay, he says he's got it, and you've never not had it when you said you got it. So I I'd, I'd full faith in you, and sure enough, I wake up at 4.30, and I see a Dropbox link already in there. Yo, look, I already told you I, I got you. I was just – I was struggling. It was like it started to be midnight. It's, I saw the clock ticking. It's like – I got to get this thing done. I got to get this thing done. But, you know, I'm not going to let you guys down. I know. I know. And you never have. So let's we're going to take it back a little bit. And again, mm -hmm. we're completely unscripted, completely off fix. So he doesn't actually know where I'm going with this. I but know. I want you guys <laughs> to understand just some of the crazy background that Vaughn has, because every once in a while we'll be having a conversation and he'll drop things like, oh, well, when I was on tour with Justin Timberlake and I'm like, I'm sorry, what? Like. <laughs> You know, or, oh, you know, when I was, you know, playing at this sold out show and this. So you've lived a lot of lives. And I feel like everyone on our team is like that. I don't know if it's because we're old souls or what it is, or maybe we're just all very ADD when it comes to the workplace. But give us your background in just a snapshot. Ooh, in a snapshot. All right. So I, I, everybody knows I started out as DJ. No, we don't. Everybody doesn't. Well, everybody I started does. out as You DJ say it so styles. casually. So I started out in Styles. Um, I've been DJing. I probably DJ for maybe 18 years from, from 2000, leaving First Coast High School here. Uh, 2002, I ended up uh, running with T.I. for a little bit on a, on a I'm Serious tour. And, um, yeah, from there, it's just been, it was nonstop DJing every single week. And uh, I ended up with uh, Freestyle Steve in the 2005 Super Bowl here in Jacksonville. And... Um, he was like, you want to go on the road? I said, yeah. Call me a week later, I'm in Chicago. Call me next week, I'm in Miami. And so I, I got a, a chance to be seen by Timbaland. So that was pretty cool. So next thing I know, I'm on a tour, you know, um, touring all over the world, uh, Africa. I think we went to Hong Kong for a long time. But it's just, it's been such an amazing ride. And um, 20, 2017, 2018, I decided to put down the turntables and pick up a camera just because I felt like this is where where home is for my my mental space and and you have such a talent you know and so when I met him uh honestly I think you're going through an identity crisis because you didn't even know what you wanted to be called not a midlife crisis just like a branding branding swap and so you were making that move from DJ styles that everyone knew you to I, I'm going to call you like DJI Devon because I feel like they should sponsor us. <laughs> Shameless drop. Um, you know, but you were moving to Vaughn, who we know and love on River City Live. And it's funny because I'll go out in the community and you, I'm used to hanging out with Rance, which who I don't even bother introducing anymore because he knows everybody. And every time I think I've met someone new and I'm excited, uh, Rance has already known them. Uh, Vaughn's already known them. So I just like show up and wave because I'm over <laughs> it. Um, but you, you're already so entrenched in the community. And as an artist, I feel like it comes very naturally to you because this wasn't something you had a background in. And I was shocked when you told me that because of the content that you do create for a lot of local personalities in the area, for businesses, for brands. And you really fit in so well to River City, River City Live in that way. Well, I feel like it's one of those things where you have to find where your happy space is, right? So I've DJed all With those me. many years. <laughs> True. I've DJed all those many years, but there was just something missing, right? So for me, I, I just, if, when it felt like work, I decided to just put that down and find, discover what my happy place was. And picking up a camera and imaging others in a way that I see them, it brought me, 
brought me pure happiness and it didn't seem like stress. It's like, you know, they have that saying, like, uh, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And I, I truly feel that now uh, with you guys. Really? I feel like it's so much bull because I think it's the opposite. <laughs> I think when you love what you do, you'll work twice as much as everybody else because you love it. Oh, that's, that's the Jenna point of view. Okay. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, really? I think Brent's like laughing at me. I'm like, I think that's so much crap. Because like, <laughs> if I didn't care, yeah, I could like, you know, beep in, beep out. But I mean, you guys know how much like we all love and care about the show like nobody doesn't have it ingrained in their personal lives because i mean i think that's just something that happens with lifestyle is that we're it's it's a community-based show it is it is uh but look when i'm with you and rands now i like i feel like people are starting to recognize me more and more now and uh like everybody's asking me about Jenna. Everybody asks me about rent. So look for, for me, I'm enjoying the space that I'm in. And like I said before, I really want to concentrate on like imaging you guys in a way that, that I get to enjoy you on an everyday basis. I got to figure out how I'm gonna pull that off. But you guys are so like, look, I love coming to work every single day. And it's, it's, that's no bull. Like we, I come in here. Um, even if I'm down, you guys lift my spirits. So it feels good. So I want to, I want to get you guys. I want the world to see you guys, how I see you. Well, I think we feel the same way because I, you know, I got to meet you when you were actually working with one of your clients that would come on the show and I just saw your attention to detail. You know, I saw pictures that would come raw out of your camera before there was even <laughs> editing or anything involved. I was like, he would send me things and I'd be like, how much Photoshop did you do on this? He's like, I, I just sent you the raw. And I didn't believe him because there was, I, I couldn't even see myself in that way which I think is a, a real gift and you've got it or you don't. I always compare it to volleyball. There's a position called a setter and it's the person who literally like sets you up to kill, to hit the ball, to kill the ball. And I would say you either have hands or you don't kind of right. like when you're catching a football, like you can learn the technique, like you can, you can have the best camera, you can do all this stuff, but it's like, you've got the eye or you don't. Why do you think you, you have the eye? To be honest with you, I, I, I don't see it like that. Um, the humble bumble over here. <laughs> no, because so when I'm behind the camera, I'm just, uh, I take what I see, you know, and in my eyes, I, I feel like I know the level that I want to be and I'm not there yet. So for me is, it feels, it feels like the same thing everyone else sees in mm. my opinion. Right. Um, but I just love to catch the candid moments. So like when, when I was on the set taking photos of you and, and Rance, it's it's just a different angles matter um personality matters and then once you learn your talent so once i learned you and rants like it's easy to know where your angles are uh what you're going to do when i point the camera at you um as far as my eye i don't i don't know it's it's, it's different i don't i don't see it like that so i i appreciate that everyone thinks my work is 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 amazing so yeah we everybody does me. while while we're chatting ryan um can we play some of that beautiful bean footage on the monitor <laughs> behind me just so that we can i pulled I, I pulled some of your work um just so that you know people could be reminded of some of the things that you've already done in the community now this is you going to new orleans i, I want to ask you before we dive into this what surprised you the most about coming on to a news team because you came from private production so doing a lot of stuff like this for your own company um but what was what was the the shocking switch when you came to news because it's very different <laughs> probably the many personalities behind the scenes <laughs> the hours. yeah the hours <laughs> the hours oh i know um because i come from private production and we talked about it all all the time turn and burn yeah you know, cranking out these videos like back to back to back to back that is is it's a struggle for me in, in a sense um but i feel like i'm i'm getting there i'm i'm progressing but that's probably the the biggest change for me mm -hmm. so i don't know man like working with you guys behind the scenes is is amazing i wish everyone could experience that because it's not often that you have teammates like you guys to where you just have fun all day long but you're working and you're getting things done and there's no negativity you know we don't walk in here we don't we're not we're not tripping about, you know, how bad our day was, not complaining. We just get it done. Yeah. And uh, to me, I think that speaks volumes about the leaders that was here before me. And so how do you feel being somebody who is, who's local through and through, but you, you know, you went away, you had a lot of adventures, you came back. How does it feel to see your city through the lens that you're looking at it now? It is different because I, I've always wanted Jacksonville to be upper level, right? Mm -hmm. 
So for me, whatever I can do to contribute to bringing Jacksonville to the next level, making it one of those cities like Miami, LA, Atlanta, um, that's what I want to do. Um, and when I came back to Jacksonville in 2019, it just, I made it my business to, to travel in Jacksonville as I would a brand new city, go to new mm. places um, and connect with new people that I probably would never have done before I left. Um, and I think that is, I think that it's helped me out a lot to see Jacksonville in a whole nother eye. And I'm just, I'm waiting for the city to just elevate because I, I love it so much. I I love that you're comparing it to, you know, those big cities. I mean, we already have the traffic. Why shouldn't we have the lifestyle to go exactly. with it? Right. I mean, <laughs> exactly. you know, we, we've already got that build up. What would you, what would you say to a local who maybe does want to, you know, kind of like revisit and date their city because, you know, we I think we talk about that a lot oh, in terms of, way to put it. Uh, you know, in terms of relationships and our friends and things like that actively, you know, dating a person. But, you know, maybe when you don't always need to move away, maybe you don't always need to quit your job and leave. Maybe you just need to, you know, to to reignite that love with your hometown. Yeah, you have to challenge yourself to just to envision it in a whole nother way, experience your city instead of living in it, you know. Um, when I started going out to like Ponte Vedra and going to the beach and then um, just some of the, the local distilleries around town, it's like you meet so many people. Um, and, you know, used to working for Spar down in Springfield, mm -hmm. like that introduced me to a whole, a whole lot of people that I had never seen before in the city. And I think to me, that's, that's, uh, that's beneficial to just, just challenge yourself to go places that you wouldn't normally go and do things that you wouldn't normally do. Um, look, I ended up meeting you out of it, you know, so it's pretty cool. Well, I mean, I was, pr I was pr pretty aggressive with my drafting afterwards. <laughs> like, you were like, Hey, is there a, and I'd be like, wait, you want to work here? <laughs> How do I make that happen? But you guys made that easy too. So every time I would come in here, it's like, it felt like a family vibe every time. Like, like you guys would, you know, come out, embrace, greet, meet. I'm like, man, this is cool. They, you know, some people behind the scenes are just like, jerks you know but but you guys <laughs> it's true <laughs> you guys are not like that and it just made me feel like this is probably where i would love to work and it ended up falling all the everything just fell in line the way it's supposed to be yeah and so, i'm and i'm so glad it did oh man look the hiring process was a was a struggle <laughs> listen you know technology at its finest but we got so it. we're here now together the three musketeers the three media musketeers is how i think of us so we're going to be bringing you a lot more um unfortunately that's our time we got to go get back to work you know because hey that's showbiz so where can we keep up with you because everyone's going to want to see even more behind the scenes content than what they saw on the screen today so on um on instagram is pretty much where i live at i'm not not a facebooker like that but i'm trying uh, so so instagram is uh, one dynamic creator um you guys you if you put in the number one and type dynamic you'll find me uh i should pop up number one but also river city live and you can always see me featured on rance and jenna's social media so <laughs> i was like if not check my instagram because <laughs> right. he'll be there all right well, here's to the three medium musketeers. We're going to go get to work, and we'll see you tomorrow on River City Live at 930 and River City Plus at 1015. Bye.